You want to know the six most devastating words in the English language? Think more than one step ahead. I puckered some booty holes with that last video, didn't I? As I suspected. I suspected it so much that I wrote this response in advance. People will watch the video and get offended because I don't have a massive hate boner for this film. They're going to take me saying that some of them are too quick to claim they know the minds of other people as an accusation that they're all chomos, or that I'm defending the film, or that I'm more outraged about them than the film. That's actually true. Or that I'm saying everything is okay as long as you call it art. Or, just for shits and giggles because I know people are this stupid, that I'm saying women can't be chomos because I'm pointing out that just about everyone involved in making the film were women. So let's just go through this and I'll add in comments from the video where they apply. First up, why don't you hate this film? Why are you defending it? I made three videos where I said I didn't like the film, specifically criticizing the decision to film the girls the way they did without anybody thinking, maybe this was a bad idea. To which all the sane people go, you're defending it. Of course I am. Because when I tell you I don't like it, that's a defense. I didn't have the same knee-jerk reaction everyone else did because that's not who I am. I have the emotional response, and then I think. I look for more information. I try to find out exactly what's going on and why. I don't just lose my shit like everyone else. Why? Because overreacting like people did with this film is the reason why you know who Nick Sandman is. I know all of you don't think that's where that comes from, but it is. The same impulse that led a bunch of people to call cuties pedo bait because they're so concerned about kids. Just the year before, we're tweeting about raping and murdering a 16 year old boy for smiling at Colonel Tomahawk. It takes nothing to get people to do this. You don't just have that instant unhinged reaction, but you also jump to conclusions based on the least amount of information. Conclusions like everyone involved in the film were chomos. Don't you know the guy who created Sundance got arrested for CP? You know what that means about the people in the film. Conclusions like everyone who gave a positive review of the film is a kitty diddler. So when I point out that this flawless logic can be applied in reverse, because a better indicator that you have the bad thoughts is that you know what they are and recognize them so easily in others that you don't even have to know what the other people actually think, I get comments like this. So we're the perverts for pointing out that some people are going to get off on this? Is that what I said? Let's look at the script. If you're looking at this poster and the first thought in your mind is how people are going to fap to this, you're the pervert. A non-pervert wouldn't immediately think about how people are going to touch themselves. And I stand by that position. It's weird that's the first thought in your mind. Not that the girls are being sexualized. Not that it implies that the film is about the girls twerking. Not that at least a dozen different people have to see this and went, it's fine. But specifically, who will be turned on by this poster? And supposedly this is unfair. Because you can recognize that people will do bad things without actually wanting to do those things yourself. But it's just impossible for other people not to see the thing as bad at all without them actually being bad themselves. You seeing a naked kid and going, that kid's naked. Someone's going to think that kid's hot and fuck him. Is totally normal. But someone's saying, they're just naked, it's fine. Pedophile. This is like someone checking the dictionary and thanking the editor for not including any dirty words. How would you know what they were? What would you being of such upstanding moral character? And look, I don't think everyone who reacts to this has the bad thoughts, although some of you do, but some of you are just paranoid. Either way, if this is the first thing that pops into your head about anything, something's gone wrong. It's like someone claiming they just know who all the racists are without even talking to anyone. They just know because they're anti-racist. What are you going to think about that person? Be honest. Now I came across this fun comment where people quoted Aristotle saying, The mark of an intellect is the ability to entertain an idea but not accept it. Except, that's not what he said. What he said was, quote, It is right that we ask people to accept each of the things which are said in the same way. For it is the mark of an educated person to search for the same kind of clarity in each topic to the extent that the nature of the matter accepts it. For it is similar to expect a mathematician to speak persuasively, or for an orator to furnish clear proofs. Each person judges well what they know, and is thus a good critic of those things. For each thing in specific, someone must be educated to be a critic. To be a critic in general, one must be educated about everything. So it doesn't mean what you think it means. It means that you need to know what you're talking about, not just assume that you do. 
So no, you can't claim that you just know what other people think because you think you do. You actually need to observe other people to know that, unless you have the thoughts yourself. The person who replied to the Aristotle comment brought up Sun Tzu saying know your enemy and know yourself, but that actually requires you to study your enemy. You can't just know his mind by thinking you do. You actually have to observe him, actually listen to him, and actually understand him in order to predict how he will act. So if you had a person who you knew, based on observation, liked to think the worst of other people, but would be offended if the same standard were applied to him, you might apply that standard of, Let's say, assuming someone is a pedophile using the least amount of evidence possible against him, and then further shore up that standard by applying another standard the person supports, such as that person assuming that anyone who protests too much about the thing must be that thing. And then, if you're really being mean, couch that in actual criticism of this person failing to actually do anything to address the problem he claims to care about, just to demonstrate that he cares so little about the thing he claims he hates, that he'll take more offense at the prospect of someone thinking he was a chomo over someone pointing out that canceling his streaming account does fuck all to help abuse kids. Know your enemy, and know yourself. You can finish the rest. If you have a problem with me applying your own standard to you, then change your fucking standard. If someone doesn't have a problem with the film, that doesn't make them a pedophile. If someone overreacts to the film, that doesn't make them a pedophile. But if you're going to start claiming that whoever denied it supplied it, don't get mad when someone says whoever smelt it dealt it. It makes it sound like you like to throw labels around just to ruin people you don't like, not that you actually believe what the fuck you say. And this is why I find a concern over the film to be bullshit, because all anyone did to show their concern was cancel a streaming account. You care so much about the girls from the film that none of you even use their names. To that point, no one's interviewed the girls. No one's reached out to their families. That hasn't stopped people from claiming they know all the dirty things the girls were made to do. It's just that they don't want to actually talk to Fathia or Esther or Medina or Alana or Miriam because then they'd actually have to care instead of going through this performative nonsense. You care so much about abused kids that you're worrying about filing criminal charges against a streaming company not doing anything to help the hundreds of children in your area who are abused every day. You care so much about them that you canceled Netflix and went on with your fucking day. Nary a finger was lifted to donate any of that money to groups that help abused kids. Not nary a finger was lifted to do any outreach or support kids. No, your oh so impressive concern was expressed by canceling a fucking account. Am I supposed to be impressed? that you're outraged on cue? Because that's all you're doing. None of you talk about anything like this unless it's in the news. The moment this shit stopped trending on Twitter, it was out of sight, out of mind. That happened for the poster, that happened for the release of the film, and that'll happen with this indictment. You're so concerned that you're doing nothing. And you think I'm supposed to applaud you for this? Canceling your Netflix account is like putting Black Lives Matter in your Twitter bio. You haven't done a fucking thing. Why am I more pissed off about that than this stupid ass film? Because the director at least had good intentions, she's just too fucking stupid to realize what she did. You, on the other hand, are doing performative bullshit, pretending like you care, while turning a blind eye to all the shit happening around you. Do you think kids were first exploited in this film? It never happened before this? No children were abused before this? Oh, they were. Well, what were you doing then before this happened? That's not a rhetorical question. Answer it in the comments. What were you doing? You oh so concerned about protecting children. Who were you helping? Not a fucking soul. Ain't doing a fucking thing. I have no patience for you in this performative bullshit. And before you say it, I'm a victim myself. I have close friends who've been abused. So if you even think about going down that road, you can fuck right off. When one of your friends won't eat in front of people because if he thinks you knows that he likes it, he'll stop eating. Then you can talk to me. Then I can tell you about how this boy wouldn't even let dogs play with him because he didn't think anyone could like him. Talk to me then and explain to me how canceling your Netflix account stopped him from having nightmares. You haven't erased a thing done to me, done to him, or to anyone else. So no, I'm not impressed by you canceling your account. You want to help actual kids? Deal with real world situations and stop worrying about some fucking film or canceling your streaming accounts like that does something. You can be outraged. But you actually have to do the work. And saving some pocket change ain't it. And along those same lines, pointing out that most of the people managing this film are female isn't saying that females can't be abusers. How many times have I brought up women as abusers on my channel? 
Is that really an argument you think I'd make? No, I'm pointing out that most of the people bitching about this film have a narrative. All these men were leering at girls. Well, it turns out they weren't men. Now what? This usually gets two responses. One, they get stumped for a minute, and then they'll say, yeah, well, it's still wrong. You know, it's cute that you think I believe you, but I've been around this topic for two decades, and I know most of the people pissy about this film wouldn't have said shit at all if they knew that all the people involved in the casting were women. Two, they'll try to reverse it, claiming that I'm saying women can't be abusers. That makes no sense. You didn't even consider it a possibility because it didn't fit your narrative despite that casting agents are usually women. So no, I'm not pretending women can't abuse kids. I'm pointing out that most of the people who made the film aren't the sex you think they are. Speaking of which, JSG is saying everything is art. Is that what I said? Let's check. Lots of artistic things are disturbing, perverse, and disgusting on purpose. That's their point. To highlight those things as a form of commentary. So, not what I said. I made a very clear point. You want to be very careful about setting a precedent that anything you don't like can't be art because that will apply to lots of things. This isn't an example of someone using a phone to take pictures of a kid and then trying to pass it off as art. This is a film where the director wanted to make a specific point criticizing a particular topic. Now, if you were paying attention, you'd have noticed that my counter to this argument is that the director does the thing she's criticizing. So even if her intentions were good, even if this could be considered art, what she did was wrong. Why so many of you are unable to hold more than one thought in your head at a time is staggering. I legitimately don't understand why it's so hard for people to do this because I'm not that smart. If I can do it, surely you can too. The director tried to make a point and failed and ironically did the thing she's criticizing. Why is that so hard to understand? I'm not saying what she did was fine. I'm saying she's not what you're claiming she is, nor was the film created for the purpose you think it was. Now, the result here could be that the film gets banned in Texas. If other courts in other states want to file charges, they could, and this might result in the film getting banned nationwide. That's about it. There's nothing they can do to any of the people involved in the film, which should technically be your concern, because they're all French citizens. The French government was involved in the making of the film and cleared it, so I don't think they're going to be working with the US at all to do anything with this film. In other words, this does nothing. And look, I get it. You think I've got the wrong take because you've mistakenly assumed that I will always agree with you. I don't do group things. I don't allow anyone to make up my mind for me, and I don't care whether my opinions are popular. I don't share my mind with the expectation everyone will agree. The irony, though, is that you don't actually disagree with my logic. You just disagree with it being applied to you. And that's fine. You're welcome not to like it, but that's not going to change my opinion. I have no patience, none whatsoever, for people pretending to care about things they don't actually care about for internet clicks or to fit in or because it's the so-called right opinion to have. If you actually cared, it wouldn't take a stupid movie, some selectively cut phone video, or some silly hashtag to get you to show it. When I give my money and my time to help male victims, I don't mention it because I'm not looking for backpats. That said, I do mention male victims a lot. I bring them up whether or not they're in the news because I actually care. And I don't waste my time on performative bullshit or worry about whether people will think I have the right opinion. I don't want any people to go through any of the shit I've heard about or seen, so I do my part. Canceling Netflix and having some hyperbolic reaction to a film ain't part of that because I've got more productive things to do. So yeah, I checked you, like I do to the far left, which you like so much. And yeah, I'm asking you to think more than one step ahead, because that's what you should do. You can have your emotional reaction, and then you need to think, because if you do that, You'll avoid a lot of the hyperbolic reactions people had to this film. Calm down so we can have a rational conversation. That way, you're not calling everyone who doesn't think exactly like you a pedophile, and then no one has to point out how odd it is that you, who is not a pedophile, seems to know who all of them are. But what do I know? I'm just some guy.